Hello friends, we are not employed by a fine company, so let's not stop lead coding till we get there. Today we are going to do valid palindrome lead code problem. And if we see some of the companies where I want to work at who has already asked this question, there are companies like Facebook, Amazon, Microsoft, Apple, Bloomberg, Spotify, Adobe, TikTok, Google, and Uber. So that's why I am paying my utmost attention. I hope you also enjoy the video. So this is a lead code easy problem and basically we are given the definition of what a palindrome is. Uh, we are told that after converting all the uppercase letters into lowercase letters and removing all the non alpha numeric characters, if the string reads same as forward and backward, then we can determine that any uh, given string is a palindrome. Now we are given a string S and we need to return true if the given string is palindrome. If not, we need to return false. So let's try to understand this with an example. Over here, we are given a string that looks like this, where you can see that there are some alphanumeric characters as well, uh, which we will have to get rid of. This is only put there just to add some sort of additional complexity. Uh, uh, apart from that, it serves no purpose this is the original string that we are given now if we convert all the uppercase letters to lowercase and remove all the alphanumeric characters we will actually get a string that looks like this and if we see for this particular string uh, if we start going from the front and even going from the back we will see that all the characters that are present from the front they are also present from the back in the same order so that is why we can determine that this string is actually a palindrome and we will return true in this case uh, we are given another example that looks like this over here we can also see that there are some alphanumeric characters which are the two space values so we will have a string that looks like this and over here if we try to see that whether this is a palindrome or not currently this r r matches a a matches c c matches but this e actually does not match over here and over here actually we have an a so that's why this is not a palindrome and we will return false in this case so let's see that what would be the approach to solve this problem now suppose this is the example that we are given and we need to determine that whether this given string is a palindrome or not. The approach I am suggesting is first of all we iterate over this given string we get rid of all of these characters that are alphanumer alphanumeric. Once we do that then we will create a new string that is actually reverse of this original given string. And now we have two strings in at our disposal. All we have to do is compare both the strings. If they are same, we can determine that they are actually palindrome and we can return true. If they are not the same, we can return false immediately. So let's see that in the action. So first of all, we are going to create a string from this original input string where we are going to get rid of all of the uh, non alpha numeric characters. Once we are done that, now we are going to reverse the string. So we are going to create a new reverse string from this original given string. And we are basically reversing whatever this given input is. In this case, if we compare this given uh, our reverse string and whatever the string we are given, they both possess the same value, which means we can determine that this given original input is actually a palindrome and we can return true in this case. So this is one of the solution where we can work with and the solution would work as expected. No issues with that. Uh, let's see that what would be the time and space complexity over here. So the, for the time complexity, actually, first of all, we are iterating over this given string to remove all of the alphanumeric characters and then again and we are iterating over this given string to create a new reverse string which means that we are essentially iterating over this original string two three times and comparing it and uh, basically we are doing big o of n work but actually we are doing like big o of uh, two times n work uh, in terms of space complexity we are because we are creating this new original reverse string so that is why we are also consuming some uh, space so that's why the space complexity in this case is also going to be big o of n where n is the number of characters that is present inside this given string so this approach is okay it's justified it works as expected but uh, the question is uh, can we do something better in terms of space complexity and even in terms of time complexity and yes there is a better approach and uh, let me quickly show you how okay so for the optimal solution what we are going to do is suppose we are given an input that looks like this now over here we are actually going to use a two pointer solution and we are going to have a left pointer and a right pointer and initially the left pointer is going to be located at the leftmost position and right pointer is going to be located at the end of our string now at any given moment we are going to compare that what is the character value of left and right pointer and we are also going to check that whether this given left and right pointer if there is that like a non alpha numeric value if that is the case we will just like uh, 
increase the value of left or right pointer and uh, if the if both the values are same essentially we will move the left pointer on the right side and we will move right pointer on the left side and we would keep on doing this process until left and right are adjacent to each other uh, before right uh, crosses the left and if we are able to reach to that point we can determine that this is actually a true and valid palindrome if that is not the case we will basically return false at any given moment if we identify that left pointer and right pointer character values are not matching up so let's see that in action suppose this is the string we are given currently the left is located at this m and right is located at this uh, small m but in both the cases we are only dealing with lowercase english letter so even if we encounter an uppercase english letter we would convert it to lowercase english letter we would treat it like this so this m is equal to m so far we are good which means we will have to update the value of left and right pointer so now this left pointer is going to go to the next value which is over here and this right pointer is going to go to a previous value which is over here now the, at this position right uh, we actually identify that this is not uh, an alphabet so we would again update the value of right pointer and we would ignore this case and this time right pointer comes over here now because both of these are valid alphanumeric value we will try to see that what are their values and both are uh, located a a which means they are same so if they are same again we are good up until this point again we will update the value of left and right pointer so now left pointer is at d and right pointer is actually located at this uh, colon over here so because this is not an alphanumeric value again we are going to ignore this and we are going to update the value for uh, right pointer so now right pointer would end up at the same position where left pointer is if we again compare the value both are going to be dd so again we are good up until this point now we don't have to do it but because in our algorithm we are specifying that we need to check before right pointer crosses the left and in this if we do one more iteration essentially right would co come and left would come over here which means that they would be crossing each other and which is not what we want so we have already concluded that all the characters inside this given string they are actually part of a palindrome and we can return true in this case and this is the approach we are going to take now if we see the time complexity in this case the time complexity is actually going to be big O of n only because we are completing everything in just single iteration uh, we are having our left pointer move to the right side and we are having our right pointer move to the left side and uh, we stop when they meet now in terms of space complexity we are actually uh, doing it pretty efficiently we are only using couple of pointers to store uh, in our space so that's why it's only a constant space that we are consuming and this approach is much better approach and we uh, we will conclude this as to be an optimal solution now let's move on to coding First of all, we are going to initialize a couple of variables called left and right and we are going to assign the left to be value 0 and uh, right to be value uh, to the end of the string. So now we are going to run a loop in that while left is less than right. So now first of all, we are going to check that if the current value on the left side, if that is not alphanumeric, uh, we will have to update the value of left pointer. Same thing we are going to do with the right pointer but we are actually going to reduce the value for the right pointer. And if we identify that both left and right are correct uh, letters we are going to check, check their values. And if they are not same we can return false immediately if they are same we will continue updating the loop. So if that is the case if the char characters are not matching after converting them to lower case we can return false immediately. And if that is not the case uh, we would update the values of left and right pointer and once this loop ends essentially uh, if we get out of the loop without returning false we can simply return true now let's try to run this code okay seems like our solution is working as expected let's submit this code and our code is actually pretty efficient i would be posting this in the comments so you can check it out from there thank you